Mark chapter 7, verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. That's what he said was in the heart of men. He said, proceed evil thoughts. He said, what proceeds out of your mind is evil thoughts. That's what's in your heart. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? You don't know? Hey brother, you know how to get to the kingdom of heaven? Because the brother bought a lot of good things. He showed you, you that you're an Israelite. He showed you that you got to keep the commandments. So let me ask you, how do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Through Christ. We understand it, but through Christ, but how do we get there? How do we know Christ? How do we get to know Christ? Because if we was taught a false Christ, did we know him? Say again? I'm gonna show you how we get to know Christ. Give me first John 2 and 3. I'm gonna show you how we get a, how we get a relationship with Christ. Because if we was taught a false Christ, and look, today, guess what? We just now learned the image of, uh, the true image of Christ. We didn't know Christ. You understand? We didn't know what it takes to get into the kingdom of heaven. So we had no relationship with God. So we got to what? We build that relationship with God. We got to be reborn again and start actually learning the things that we must do to get into the kingdom. The things that we must do to, that we can know Christ to know God. Read. First John chapter 2 verse 3. In hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's how we know Christ if we keep his commandments. We got to understand these commandments were given by the Father so what? We can have knowledge and wisdom. If we had that knowledge and wisdom, we wouldn't have been deceived in the first place of worshiping a false Christ. Right. We wouldn't be deceived in the first place in following false religions. Read. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So guess what? We wasn't taught the law, statute, and commandments. He that said, I know him, I know Christ, Christ is my heart, but you don't keep the commandments, is it what? It's a liar. Is it what? It's a liar. All these pastors that's not teaching the commandments, is it what? It's a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in your pastors. The truth ain't in your mamas, your grandmamas, your brothers and your sisters that say they love Christ, they love God, but ain't keeping one commandment. That's what we got to start understanding. If we're not keeping the commandments of God, we are rebellious. We are rebellious. Let me first, uh, John 3 and 10. We got to realize that, hey, we're not of God, because all our people love to say I'm a child of God. But hey, to be a child of God require, requires um, requirements. If there's requirements that must be met. So we got to find out if we're a child of God or we're a child of the devil. Read. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness, is not. Hold on, we get again from the top. I want you to hear this. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. So we have children of God, and we got children of the devil. So everyone ain't the children of God, first and foremost. So let's see how we recognize who the children of God are. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Whoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. So here's a simple question. What is righteousness? Let me do Romans 6 and 25. Our people first got to learn what righteousness is. Because righteousness cannot be something that you perceive out your own mind. Right. God actually tells you what righteousness is. Read. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. Our righteousness is keeping the commandments of God. So when it says, go back to 1 John 3 and 10, this is how you recognize the children of God, by keeping the commandments. That's where our righteousness is. It's doing the will of God, keeping his commandments. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 10. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness, whoever is, not keeping the commandments, is not of God. Is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Give me Matthew, um, give me Matthew 7, verse uh, 13. So if you're not keeping the commandments of God, you are not the child of God. You are a child of the devil. And guess what? Our people have been what? Devilish. Because guess what? All you have to do is look around you. We sold each other dope for years. We was killing each other for years. We got bloods, crips, gangster disciples, vice lords. We out here terrorizing one another. We don't help one another. We don't uplift one another. We are our own worst enemy. Because why? We have fallen away from the knowledge of God. We are falling away from keeping God's commandments. If we kept God's commandments, we would be at the top of the food chain. We would, we would be ruining this earth. But since we wandered away from God, because we're thinking, hey, you know what? I'm spiritual. I'm this. I'm that. I'm Baptist. I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm a Christian. But guess what? There's only one path. And we got to come back to the path of God. We, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Into no. ye in at the straight gate. That's it. Read that again. Say, enter. Into ye in at the straight gate. We must enter in at the straight gate. You understand? There ain't many gates. There's only one gate. There's only one path to God. Read. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. It said, wide is the way, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. You know what that broad and wide is? That's your religions on this earth. That's your Baptist, that's your Catholic, that's your Christianity. That's your Muslim, that's your Islam. That's what everybody follows. Your whole society follows that. That's the broad and wide that leads to destruction. Read. And many, there be which go in their end. There gonna be many that gonna go in that way. They gonna follow their oppressors. They follow the religions that are, of the people that oppress us, that put us in slavery. How can people that put you in slavery know about God? When God said keep his commandments. How can they teach you the path to go into the, uh, the kingdom? Read. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. It says, straight is the way, and narrow is the path that leadeth unto life. Straight is the way, and narrow is the path that leadeth unto life. And what? And few there be that find it. And it said, be few that find it. Guess what? You're one of the few that's sitting up here right now hearing the word of God. The word of God is coming out. And if our people love God, you know what they would be doing? They would take the time to hear the word of God. But they too busy. They too busy wanting to run in the store, get those bloods, get that six pack. Say, they too busy wanting to go run and go do this and run and go do that. They won't take the time to hear the word of God. He says, straight is the way and narrow is the path that lead to what? To the kingdom of heaven. Give me Matthew 19 and 16. Straight is the way. You want to follow the straight way. You want to follow that narrow path, right? You want to get into the kingdom of heaven. So let's find out from the words of Christ. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he asked Christ, What good things must I do to have eternal life? What path should I take to get eternal life? You understand? He's asking Christ that question. If we follow, if we believe in Christ, if we're followers of Christ, shouldn't we take heed to what Christ is getting ready to tell him? Christ is getting ready to give him the instruction on how to get into the kingdom of heaven. Read. Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There was none good but one, that is God. So Christ says, hey, look, don't call me good, ain't but one good, and that's God. He letting him know that, hey, there's one that's above me. He's the one that's good. He's the one that gave you life. He's the one that showed you the way. He's the one that gave you wisdom and knowledge if you follow it. Read. 
But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want eternal life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. He keep repeating that. Keep the commandments. This is your righteousness. This is the way to the kingdom of heaven. We got to keep the commandments. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever been taught simple commandments? We wasn't taught the commandments. Work for us. The pastor didn't teach us. If the pastor had taught us, guess what? We would be right now in rulership of this earth. If our pastors, if these religions were the right way, we would be in rulership of this earth. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 21. We would be in rulership of this earth. Because you know why? Because God promised that thing to us. But since we wandered away from God, he said my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. chapter 28 verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments he said if we hearken and do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth he said I will put you in rulership of the whole earth he will put us over the nations but we at the bottom, right? We at the bottom, we're in the ghettos. We catching hell all over this earth. Why? Because we don't know the commandments. Right. Hey sis, I want you to hear something right quick. Give me Deuteronomy 25. I want you to hear something that they didn't teach us, that they didn't teach our women. I want you to hear something that if Christ was to come back right now today, it would get you put to death. Right. I want you to hear this. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. It goes some of these commandments that God gave us that wasn't taught to us. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. He said a woman shouldn't wear that which pertained to a man. So this is God giving us a dress code. You understand? He said a woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. And a man shall not. I'm sorry. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. He said neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. We, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. He said, all that do so, all women that's wearing men clothes, all uh, men that's wearing women's clothes, is an abomination to the Lord thy God. It means he's going to put you to death. You won't get into the kingdom of heaven for the simple that. Because if these men was out here wearing a dress, would you think they're going to the he heaven? You don't look at us like we are crazy. So what do women wear that pertain to men? Hey sis, what do women wear to pertain to men? All women wearing pants, all women wearing shorts will not get into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, I'm gonna say, hey, well, I'm gonna prove it. Give me Zephaniah one eight. The book of Zephaniah chapter one verse eight. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's judgment day when Christ returns. That I will punish the princes. It means he's gonna put to death and the king's children. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So all those wearing strange apparel, all women wearing pants, all men wearing feminine clothes are going to get put to death. Right. That's going to be the judgment of the Most High God for what? For us wandering away from the path. From us wandering away from the laws and commandments. Give me group 4 and 1. That is the reason why we're in these conditions. Because we don't know simple laws. We got to come back to the simplicity that's in Christ. We got to come back to the simplicity of these laws and just follow them, do them, because this is what is going to restore our people back to greatness. The root, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. That's what this Bible is. It's the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endures forever. The laws of God endure forever. Hey, brother, how long is forever? 
forever, right? You mean you're gonna have to always follow these laws? Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. All that keep it gonna do what? All that keep it shall come to life. All that keep God's laws is gonna come to life. You're gonna wake up out of that dead state. You're gonna start back becoming the gods of this earth. People are gonna start looking at you different because why? You're keeping God's laws. Now you know Christ. Hey, guess what? Now you have knowledge. Now you have wisdom. And the lies that they've been put on our people, guess what? It won't affect you no more. Right. It ain't gonna keep you down no more. You'll be able to now to lead your family, lead your wife, lead your children back to the most high God. Read. But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave God's laws gonna what? Die. Guess what? We're in a dead state right now because we've wandered away from God's laws. Right. I'm going to give y'all a simple law as men you can start keeping. Give me numbers 15 and 38. This is a hey, taking the simple process, the simple basis of God's laws. Start applying them to your life. And he will start feeding you knowledge and wisdom. We got to start understanding that through God's laws, through, through the things that he commands us, is wisdom. There's knowledge. And right now, he remember, he said, we destroy for the lack of knowledge. So if you want to be able to rise up as a man, should you not first get that knowledge back? Should you not first get that wisdom back? So first thing you must be is obedient to the words of God. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Read it again from the top, slow it down. Speak unto the children of Israel. We are the children of Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the children of Israel. Understand that first who you are. That's the first step to coming back to God. It's coming back to your true name. Coming back to your true nationality. Hey, you are from the tribe of Judah. You are an Israelite. We And bid them. Bid means command them. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. He said bid them make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That's the, your clothing. Do you know what a fringe is? You know what a fringe is? Now, we said we're children of God. He said make fringes in the borders of their garments. So if we are children of God, we should be following that law, right? Or else we're going to be false prophets. Because we wouldn't be keeping those laws. Right. Look at the bottom of each of men's shirts. At the bottom of these garments. Those are fringes. So he said he commanded us to make us fringes in the borders of our garments. So on all our clothes and all our shirts, guess what we got on? Fringes. So when we ain't out here, we at home, you're going to see fringes on our clothing. You understand? Read. Throughout their generations. He said throughout their generations. That means we're supposed to be doing this forever. So your pastors, you know they false prophets because you ain't never seen them with fringes on their clothing. Right. Read. And and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. As you see on the borders of all these fringes is a ribbon of blue. We keeping that commandment. Because why? We commandment keepers. We follow God. We do what he say. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So you're supposed to look upon these fringes and remember all the commandments of God. So you know what? Today is the Sabbath day. We're supposed to look upon these fringes, and you know what we're supposed to say? No buying, no shopping, no selling, no work on the Sabbath day. Right. You know, hey, we see our sisters, you know what we're supposed to do? We shall not lust. We shall not cut. This is why he put these there. For a reminder for us to walk in righteousness. Read. And do them. And what? And do them. Uh -huh. And that ye seek not after your own heart. We, hey, we don't supposed to seek after our own heart. Because you know why? Uh, we know when people say, God know my heart, when we say, God know my heart, you know what we saying? God know the goodness in me. He know what I'm about. He know my heart. That's black people, right? How many times you don't hear black people say that? God know my heart. Hey, we hear it all the time. But let's, let's, let's see what God say about our heart. Because God does, God do know it. He do know it. So let's find out what he said. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Yeah. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. That's what he said was in the heart of men. He said, proceed evil thoughts. He said, what proceeds out of your mind is evil thoughts. That's what's in your heart. 
Because you know what? Our people want to make excuses on why they don't want to follow God. They don't want to keep his commandments. And so when they don't keep his commandments, let's see what thoughts proceed out of their mind. Adulteries. Adultery. Are we not, are not our wives out here committing adultery? Are not our men out here committing adultery? If you work a job, you see it all the time. They say they married and you see them up in front of men's faces all day long. You see these men saying they married, they trying to holler at every single woman that walked by. He said what proceeds out of our thoughts is adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Hey, all these single brothers got women, they fornicating. That's what comes out of our mind. Fornication. We don't look at marriage as an honorable thing. We want to go from the next woman to the next woman. Hey, our women want to go from the next man to the next man. They got one man to pay the rent, one man to pay the light bill, one man to pay the cable bill. That's what's going on with our people. Adulteries, fornication, murders. What? Murders. Murder. We out here killing one another. You got your brothers, your vice lords, your, 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 your disciples. Hey, what a gang that for the white man that got you in slavery. We'll kill each other. Because why? We don't got love for one another. Anyway, we got hatred for one another. And hatred is murder. When you hate your brother, guess what? That's murder. When you're not keeping the commandments, you know what that is? That's murder. This is what proceeds out of our minds. Read. That's covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. All these evil thoughts, God knowing our heart, he said all these evilness is what proceed out of you and defile the men. Right. That's what's going on. We done defiled ourselves with evilness because we think we know more than the most high. Right. We put our own thoughts before God. We don't want to follow the Bible. We want to do what we want to do. Right. We want to walk the way we want to walk. We don't want to walk in the righteousness of God. But guess what? There's a way to come back to the most high. And today, hey, you got an opportunity. Today, you don't learn that you're an Israelite. Today, you don't learn that you got to keep the law, statute, and commandments. This is how we return back to the Most High God. This is how the day that you know what? You can return back to God. You can choose this day whom you're going to serve. You can keep serving white Jesus. You can keep serving the white man. And you can keep on following that path and stay in slavery and go to hell. Simple as that. Or you can repent and come back to God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.